Hello everyone, good to see you. Well, let's start. Ready? One, two, three, Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, we're going to heaven. Eight, nine, he's a friend of mine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. But instead, let's learn the number zero to ten. Well, let's find out today's number. Are you ready? Here we go. So today's number is number 10, the last number in our number video series. Okay, so let's look at that. Let's look at the shape of 10. Here we go. Ready? What do you see? Straight line, it looks like a number one. So this is a one line and one more. Go. Looks like an oval and looks like number zero. That's right. So number 10, you put that number one and zero line together and it makes number 10. So because two numbers make one number, you say it has two digits. Wow, that's a big word. But number 10 is a first two digit number. What about Oh, before we do the spelling, we have to get your magic finger out. Let's go. Number one line and zero line. One more time. Number one and zero makes 10. Well, let's look at the spelling. T, T. That's right. Tapping, tapping. T says T. So it's a, it is the West number, I mean a letter T. And T, E, eh, E. Eh. Exercise, exercise. E says E. Eh. So it is. And ten, n, n. Nodding, nodding. N says N. That's right. So, straight line and rainbow line. Here is the N. Here we go. T-E-N spells 10. Now today we have this dotted dot hunt uh, sheet with your worksheet. So make sure you don't you um, find these dots in your house. Okay, enjoy. And one more. I have some friends sent me some pictures of the shape of 10 that they made with different things at home. So take a look. That was great. Well, thank you, Jace, Lucy, and Kayla sending me those pictures. Well, I hope you will make your own number 10 with the things that you can find at home. Have fun. When I see number 10, this reminds me of light. Okay, guys, it's the last one. We get to learn what 10 in French is. So just like last week, we're going to count from zero up till 10 and then I'll tell you what 10 is. Are you ready? Zero, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Did you hear that? Number 10 is deuce. Okay. Ready? Let's do our hopscotch now. Z 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. Bye, guys. Well, look here, boys and girls. It's so good to see you, but we are at our last day with our numbers. And look at what we have here. Our cakes. Wow, we have so many. Let's start counting. We're going to start this time from the top. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Oh, we have 10 layers on our cake. And if you hold up your fingers, how many fingers do you have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers on your hands. Clap your hands, clap your fingers, 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 clap your fingers. ten little fingers on your hands. <gasps> shake your fingers, shake your fingers, shake your fingers, shake your fingers. Shake your fingers, shake your fingers, shake your fingers on your hand. Oh, what else could we do with our fingers? How about wave your fingers, 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 wave your fingers. Wave your fingers. 10 little fingers on your hand. So we can do a lot of things with our fingers. Hmm, let's think about things that we could do. If I'm itchy, oh, I use my fingers to scratch. Hmm, if I wanna pick something up, I use my fingers, that's right. How about when you're eating? What do you use? You use your fingers, don't you, to hold on to things and pick things up. Sometimes we point at things too with our fingers. So our fingers are very, very useful things that we have. I'm glad I have all of my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm glad I have my ten fingers. So we have a book about ten tall giraffes written by Brian Moses. What's the hurry? What's the fuss? Why are all the animals in such a rush? 10 tall giraffes striding across the plain. Nine fierce tigers moving faster than a train. Ooh, look at them go. Eight massive whales racing through the sea. Seven silly monkeys swinging from tree to tree. Six charging rhinos, feet pounding on the ground. Five angry bears making a terrible sound. Four snapping crocodiles don't get in their way. Three excited elephants at the break of day. Two jumping kangaroos. Look how high they leap. What's the special secret that none of them can keep? The 10, the 9, the 8, the 7, the 6, the 5, the 4, the 3, the 2, the 1. Oh, it's an enormous party and you're invited to the end. Well, we are just done now all our different numbers, but I can think of something else 
that you have to count to 10. And it's when you have a rocket ship. <gasps> they count backwards to blast off. So we're gonna go on a little trip here. Are you ready? We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. We're going on a rocket ship. We're going to the moon. But are you ready? Everybody get down really low and we are gonna blast off. But remember, we have to count backwards starting at 10. Okay, are you ready to blast off? Boys and girls, get down low. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! There we go, we took off everybody. And I think I'll enjoy my trip to the moon, but maybe when we come back, we better light our candles. Are you ready? So here we go, we're gonna light our candles. And our last candles that we have, there we got two, we got a one and a zero, and that makes 10. So let's count to 10 and then we're gonna blow. Oh, we got a lot of counting, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Take a big deep breath. Oh, we did it! Yay, boys and girls, we made it all the way from one to 10. So I hope you've learned a lot about numbers and how to count. So we'll take care everyone. You can use your fingers now to wave and say goodbye. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Oh, it's time to be thankful. What do you have for us, Froggy? Well, let's see. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Open up, Froggy. Oh, very light today. Oh, oh, there is a paper. I'll open it. There's a ribbon on it. Okay. Oh, this is a picture of Ten Commandments from the Beginner's Bible. Well, thank you, Froggy. Well, let's see. Well, just, I wonder if everybody knows about the Ten Commandments. Well, Ten Commandments are the rules that God gave Moses to give to his people. And then he also asked Moses to write them down on the stone tablet, just like this. So here are the Ten Commandments. The first one, put God first. He is the one and only God. And two, worship God every day. Not only one day, every day. And three, the third commandment, don't misuse God's name. His name is holy. You have to be very careful before you use it. Number four, second, uh, fourth commandment is keep one day to rest from all the work and to spend time with God. Okay, so these four commandments are about the relationship with God. Now, fifth one from here about the relationship with people. Now, listen, the fifth one is the important one. Obey and respect your parents. And God said, if you do it, you are the one who will be blessed. And number six, well, don't harm anyone by neither by actions or words. And number seven, don't cheat. And number eight, um, do not take the things that don't belong to you. And number nine, tell always tell the truth. And number ten, don't be jealous of things that belongs to other people. Well, these Ten Commandments are so important for us to keep, but it seems to be so hard to do so. But when Jesus came, many years after Moses' time, he made these Ten Commandments into how many? That's right, two. He said, love God, love people. Now, only two, so easier, right? No, it's still hard, but with Jesus' help, 
we can do it no matter how hard it is. And when you do it, you have joy and peace at the end. So let's give thank God for giving us 10 commandments. Now sign for commandments, well you make the letter C because commandments start with letter C. And you make a tablet and you go top, top, top and bottom. Commandments. Ready? Thank you God for giving us 10 commandments. Thank you God for giving us 10 commandments. Thank you God for giving us 10 commandments. Right where we are. Here we go. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where we are. Let's pray. Oh, dear God, thank you for giving us 10 commandments. Each commandment is important, very important for us to keep. Help us to have um, joy and willingness to love people and love you, God. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, this is our last week of the number threes and our friends, some of our friends shared how much they learned from the video. Well, like Lucy, she learned sign language and she challenges herself to read the house number whenever she goes for a walk with mommy in her neighborhood. And Kayla, she enjoys doing her homework week after week and she spent a lot of time on, time on it. Good job, Kayla. Keep going. And Amos told me that his favorite number was number six. His mom and dad told me that they live on the sixth floor of the building. I wonder that's why Amos likes number six. And I know Gray's favorite number right now is this, number three. She just celebrated her third birthday. Happy belated birthday, Grace. Well, thank you again. Well, we're going to move on to saying um, goodbye in a different languages. I wonder if you remember. Well, first one was this. This is a flag of Japan. So we're going to say goodbye in Japanese. Sayonara, minasan. And I'm going to join you in the middle, but you start first. Okay, here we go. Sayonara minasan, sayonara minasan, sayonara minasan, sayonara. Did you do it? Good. Okay. And after Japanese, we learned about this country. This is Germany. So we're going to say goodbye in German. Auf Wiedersehen, mein Freund. Here we go. You go first. Oh, wie da sind, oh, wie da sind, oh, wie da sind, my friend. Well done, the last one. This is the one we've been learning the past two weeks. There we go, the country of Italy. So in Italian, we say, ciao, amico mio. Here we go, ready? Ciao, amico mio, ciao, amico mio, ciao, amico mio, ciao. Good job, everyone. Come on, Froggy, we're going to say goodbye to everyone. Well, thank you for learning the numbers with us. Well, have a fun and safe summer. Bye.